Today we're gonna to talk about the laws of being a super trucker. Today on the Trucker Brown channel. All right, the laws. Now, what, what is a super trucker, right? You hear this term being thrown around. And I have my thought process on what a super trucker is, right? I have my thought process on it. A super trucker is, is the guy, okay, quick, quick thought process. A super trucker is the one-upper that you know. He's the guy that no matter how bad the weather was from your trip that you're telling them about, the weather he did was 10 times worse. Uh, when you tell him you go down the mountain at 40 miles an hour, he tells you he goes down full speed. He's the guy that when you're on the mountain, he's going down there full speed. Like when you're going down the mountain, you're going 35 miles an hour and, and you're white knuckle in it, as they call it. And you, you, you hear that. And that dude, that's the super trucker. A super trucker is someone who attaches macho bravado ideology to the job. That's a super trucker. I don't back in the hole and get out and look. I just put it in. Super trucker. That that that, that that's a super trucker right there. You all you already know it. Why is this something I need to know? Do you something you need to know because you need to be able to spot the super truckers and stay away from them. Because super truckers is a joke we laugh at, but they are they're dangerous. They're dangerous people. Because being stupid in an 80,000 pound missile is dangerous. It is. If you don't have the, the uh, humility, I guess I could use that word, to say, all right, I'm just going to chill and I will, I will go down this mountain at about, um, 35 miles an hour because it's a deep mountain. The weather's not that good. And you're so full of your driving capabilities. You go down that mountain at 60. That's dangerous. It's dumb and it's dangerous. And nothing's more dangerous than a dumb, dangerous person. Like That's just what it is. There, where are you going to meet them? You're going to meet them when you first get to orientation. Because it's a super trucker is a personality type. It's a type. And a couple of you are watching right now. You get to orientation. You sit down. You're about to get your stuff together. You know, you, you're writing in your, uh, your book of what needs to be done. All right, you're about to take notes. He's going to look over at you and say, my, my, my grandfather drove a truck for 50 years. My daddy drove a truck for 20. I know all the answers to this already. That's a super. You just met the first one. That's a super trucker. You just met him that quick. When it, a person tell, starts breaking down at orientation or at trucking school, he don't got his license yet. When he starts breaking down his trucking lineage, that's a super trucker immediately because he has extra confidence for no reason. He drove his uncle's tractor around the, the house one time when he was 12 and got to shift up to fifth year. And he's coming to here like, I, I was born for this. There is nothing you can teach me. Which means, well, someone like that, they're not gonna learn the safety stuff. And if they are, they're not gonna pay attention to it that seriously. You have to watch out for that person because this person doesn't want to study at trucking school because he knows it all. So when you're walking out of the campus in and everybody's trying to study and do their modules like good students, he just posted out smoking cigarettes with three other super truckers he found. Passing war stories that they haven't even had yet. 
war stories of what someone else told them. Well, my cousin, he drives for so-and-so interstate, but he knows the owner. And uh, he told me that over there, they don't even, they don't even govern the trucks. You can go 110 miles an hour. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it, they don't even have wheels. They got hovercraft plates like Matrix on their trucks. Like, they're out there having them stories. Okay, these are the guys that get kicked out for going to the strip club. That's close to the place. They get kicked out for going to drink into the restaurant that is owned by the company. And they're in there just blowing money and drinking. Because they're not worried. They're going to bash you. Don't worry about it. These are the people that you must know how to, you must know that are there. You must know how to uh, recognize them. And you must stay far away from them. They're also the person that let's say you just switch jobs, right? All right. And you go to the orientation and during the orientation, they're telling you about what to watch out for and what has happened to people. And these people keep stopping for they keep stopping the progress of the class to tell their story. So it could have, this was a 25 minute segment of the class for the modules, but they're going to turn it into a two hour situation because they want to talk about what they know. No, I was, I went down that mountain before I almost died and I had a thousand pounds. I had 77,000 pounds of, of pomegranate juice. And, you know, I, what I did, I just, you know, I've been driving in oil field 10 years, so I already know how to do it. So I didn't die, but a lot of guys did die. That, that guy, instead of shutting up, letting the orientator do what they have to do, he keeps stopping the orientator for stories. Here's something someone told me. Are you a faucet or a sponge? Dramatic pause. Are you a faucet or a sponge? TB, what, 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 what does that mean? It means this, a faucet can't absorb because it's always pushing out. Talking, faucet. A sponge? absorbs it absorbs information it absorbs knowledge it actually absorbs germs and a lot of messed up stuff but you get the analogy it abs it absorbs are you a faucet or are you a sponge sit in your orientation and you're going to hear all the faucets you won't hear the sponges because they're listening they're not playing the i know a worse story game as the four super truckers in the room are doing they also have a different pitch to their voice. I don't know. I may be very, very sensitive to super truckers. I can't stand them. But it's just this, you know, uh, you know, I did it for, for this. It's just, I did it for this long. And, you know, I, I could go up a mountain uh, with, a, with a Grammy shifter, two on the floor, 65 ratio back in on her. And, you know, I could go up and down the uh, mountain, no problem, 55 mile an hour up and, you know, 300 mile an hour down. I've never crashed ever. I've never even hit a bug with my windshield. It's that guy. And that's the guy passing you on the mountain as you drive safely. These, these people are dangerous, man. They are dangerous. You must, A, recognize if you're one of those people. And, and I don't want to say what I want to say. You know what I want to say. And try to fix it. Or stay away from these people. They're also the conversation terrorists at the desk when you're just trying to you're just trying to go in there and get yourself a pack of smokes or a pomegranate juice or whatever. And you just want to stop real quick at something. And they're engaging in conversation with the cashier person. And you just want to get your load and go. But you can't do it because instead of just handling the business, he wants to talk. He wants to talk. And he'll even move to the side and let you ring up and he'll keep talking to her. While you're trying to, it's that guy, that dude. Oh my god! And don't they, they come in all colors, brother? Don't don't think that it's a it's a certain no. There's super truckers in every race. 
let me tell you, it, it, it could be the old country dude that's tell, talking about, you know, cattle, or it could be the old black dude with the one gold tooth and the cigarette hanging out of his mouth. It could be that dude. It could be the uh, Mexican guy just talks a lot. It could be the, 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 the freaking Indian. It could be anyone because of these, these creatures, this personality type lives in all humans. You don't even have to drive trucks. You could be in a, an office setting. And I guarantee you that one upper gotta talk about me. That's there, it's somewhere. Why are you passionate, Trucker Brown? Cause I do not like these people. I, I'm th I really don't like people like that. Because when you try to talk, it, you, it, you can't be telling you the truth. You cannot be telling me the truth. There's no way that every time I say something, you have something over it. Yeah, my buddy just uh, bought a pit bull. Come to find out, pit bull grew up to be uh, dang near 102 pounds. So my brother got a pit bull 250. Well, I just bought this Camaro. This is actually the, the fastest uh, uh, model they have for this year. I don't know, because you go get this one. My cousin has one that got 17,000 horsepower. Uh, I went to this remote island, uh, so and so and so. I know an island nobody even know. It ain't even charted on the map yet. Oh, gosh. You must steer clear of this person. Because by byproduct, they're conversation terrorists. They're not going to let you walk away. They will, and if they have no one to one up, they will look for people at the truck stop to stop and one and talk to and one up. It's a crisis. I, it's a crisis for our industry because oh, they're everywhere. They're ever, dude. They're you're probably one of them and don't know it. You're probably not even conscious that 80% of the people that hear you speak really doesn't want you to live anymore. Like, it is that bad. Like, I, I, I fantasize about hitting people like that when they're talking. I'm just sitting there looking like this. I just, in my mind, I just do a cutaway and I'm just like, just just beating them with with the hot dog I gotta love. Like that's that's how bad it is. Stay away from these people. They do not have no knowledge for you. Everything they're trying to do, they're trying to scare you. So riding over mountains on the West Coast, if you learn the skill, it ain't that big of a deal. But these people are gonna tell you that you're gonna die. Oh no, no, dude, serious. It's real serious out there. Like, like, like literally, like most dudes, they slide off the mountain. Like half of them die. They come back, come from the grave, and they they hire them as zombies and they die again. Like they're gonna they're gonna tell you something like that. Like I'm running the Badlands, dude. The Badlands ain't that bad, bro. It isn't. It, it slow down. You wanna know how I survive? Slow down. Do the opposite of what super truckers do, and you won't crash. It's that simple. Slow down. Oh, it's ice on the road. Slow down. You may have to go down that thing at 15 miles an hour. Slow down. I'm not really sure about the road. Slow down. Snow's just starting to fall. Slow down. Just start raining. Slow down. Fog. Slow down. That's it. Slow Slow down. Be vigilant. And if you can't handle it, stop. And tell them they all right. Wake up when the sun comes up. Keep going. When in doubt, park the truck. Then you may have the jane every once in a while. What are you going to do? That's it. But if you let a super trucker tell you, there's literal alien motherships shooting phase lasers at the mountain when you're driving down and you have to weave in between the lasers and tractor. They will lie to you and they will, they will have you thinking that this portion of the country is just off limits. And only wild people go. It is not that serious. And another thing that makes you think too is because people live in these areas and drive locally every day. They drive locally every single day. What's going on with them? I would never drive in Wyoming over 80. People live out there. I'd never drive in Salt Lake City. People live out there. Any name you come up with. 
I don't know if there's houses dang there on the Cabbage Patch. And someone has to run mail and one axle double trailers all up and down that thing all year. There is no portion of the year that FedEx says, oh, we're out, we're not gonna do anything else. There is no state in the country. There's no city they're refusing to go into. There's no mountain they're not gonna climb. They're running every single day. JIT loads, wide open. Local guys, local UPS van guy. It, these people are running every day in these areas. So how is it off limits for you? Cause you from Tennessee? No, that's not how it works, bro. It's a lie. It's a lie that they just wanted to seem cool at the time. They don't even get anything out of line to you. They're super truckers. They just want you to, they want to tell you that I used to do it. So pff, I'm more macho now. I used to do it and you ain't going to be able to do it. I wouldn't even do it. That's what they're trying to tell you. It's crap. It's not real. I was born in the great state of Virginia. I've, I've, this whole winter I've been in the Badlands. Ain't hit nothing. Road shut down. I got stuck in a shutdown twice. Then the fact that there's companies that only run this area and they don't lay everybody off when the snow comes. That it's not, it's not real, dude. It isn't real. Is it, can it be scary? Yes, it can be. Is it more dangerous? Yes, it is. But it is not petrifying. You shouldn't even think about it dangerous. Like, like running a fuel truck through Iraq. Like it's not something like that. You know, you're not, come on, bro. It's just snow. Slow down. I've had days where I've ran 30 miles an hour the whole day. Whole day. 11 hours of driving. Barely did 300 miles. That dead, man, that sucks. I don't want to deal with that. If you don't want to deal with it, just say you don't want to deal with it. But don't put out this aura of it cannot be done. Because there's OTR drivers out here doing it every day and there's local drivers that's doing it every day. Okay, there's regional drivers that only drive from... Colorado to Montana all year, and they are doing it every day. Don't lie. Is it dangerous? Yes, it is, but it isn't like that. Stay, listen, stay away from super truckers. Learn how to learn their genealogy so you can spot one, and they're in all colors now, that you can spot one and take everything they say as a grain of salt. With, 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 a, with a grain of salt is how that's said. I've tried to put in something to eradicate them, but apparently they multiply faster than any other human species on the earth. They're everywhere. You're not going to get away from them, but learn, at least try. They're everywhere. Boop, right there, boom, they're going right there. This is the Trucker Brown channel, and I want you to do battle. I don't want you to do drugs. I want you to work harder. I want you to, to, to be efficient. I want you to be productive. Most of all, I want you to have a good quality of life. Do what you want to do and what works for you, okay? Don't do nothing else nobody else wants you to do. You understand that? I'm Audi 5000. Thanks for coming to the Truck Around channel. Hit the sub button. Right now, stop looking. Go down there and hit the sub button. Hit the bell. Share this video to all your social media. Go to my Instagram, at Trucker Brown. We're going to get you together here, and you're going to do better. Dramatic pause.